Sure it would. But uh, from there, we go to our main event of the evening. This was the one uh, tag team championship match. The champions, the Von Eriks, they're going to be going in. A, I believe this was scheduled a no DQ matchup against Lo, uh, Los Parks. This is L.A. Park. And sorry again with my pronunciation. Hijo de la Park. Uh, yes, yeah, Hijo de, de L.A. Park. Yeah, uh, the oh. son of L.A. Park. Okay, so I, I was close. I'm getting there. I'm try, trying to learn as much as I yeah. can, but... Not really yeah. great with names, but yes, they're going to be escorted down to the ring by Selena De La Renta, the producer of tonight's show. She got them this matchup. She made it a no DQ, and she put the Tom Lawler, filthy Tom Lawler, as the guest referee. I mean, we said it on our last review. This this one stinks. There is something in the works here that just doesn't sit right. The Von Ericks were walking into a trap, in my opinion. Yeah, absolutely. And you knew that when Selena De La Renta had control of an entire show that she was going to give her main man, L.A. Park, and, and uh, his tag team partner a, a title shot. They, they've been trying to get those tag team title shots since, again, since before uh, COVID, like since before this year even. So uh, you knew that when she got the chance, she was going to give her man, uh, La Parca, and his son a, a shot at the titles. Now she's got the special referee in there, Tom Lawler, and we all know the the terrible problems he had with the Von Erichs last year and a feud and uh, all kinds of uh, jumpings and, uh, and head stompings and such going on in that feud. So, uh, yeah, like you say, this this stinks to high heaven and, uh, and the, the Von Erichs are, are in tough in this match. Yeah, they definitely were. And, again, I mean, they put up a, a great fight. I mean, a lot of, a lot of great... Uh, I guess, comebacks from the Von Eriks and stuff like that, showing their strength, their determination, their heart and everything. But again, I mean, you had to, anyone had to know going into this that there was pretty much no way out other than a, lo a loss here for the Von Eriks. And that's exactly what ended up happening uh, between Tom Lawler and all the interference and everything like that. It was not called down the middle and we ended up with new tag team champions as a result. Yeah, we sure did. And, and you know, it's kind of funny, uh, while I was watching this match and all the shenanigans that were going on and the rule breaking and the, the crooked wrath and everything. It was, it was making me think about the story of uh, Rasputin. Do you ever know anything about that Munson? Uh, he had gotten in uh, bad against some of the Russian aristocracy. So they decided to have him killed. And they kind of thought that he was a bit of a God type character. So they, they stabbed him, they shot him, they hung him. They threw him in the river, they poisoned him, and, and still he, he just barely died after all that. This is basically what happened in this match. I mean, there was interference, there was, there was uh, the referee Lawler was being completely crooked, there was uh, foreign objects, there was, there was uh, Selena's interference spraying the mace into the eyes of Ross Von Eric, and uh, I mean, they just, they did everything, but... but hit them over the head with the kitchen sink kind of thing. And, and just no matter what the Von Erics did, they were screwed in this match. So they're not going to be happy about that. It's bad enough to lose uh, tag team championships at the best of times, but they were cheated uh, five or six different times out of those belts in that one match. So uh, we got ourselves a nice feud coming up, but uh, the big mask Mexicans aren't going to go down easy yet. They look pretty tough, don't they, Munson? And uh, just big dudes and big roughhouse style, as well as some uh, high flying lucha. Well, yeah, and it's it, they're they're a great team as well. And the one reason I'm gonna kind of point something out here and why I think that this whole thing worked in the end, like you could, I, I hear a lot of people complain when they see matches end in you know fashions like this, or a match end with a DQ or a count out or anything like that, and. You know, it's for that reason that this kind of shit actually does work. And people don't take a, the proper time to really think about how much it works. Uh, the Von Erics were screwed. You knew they were going to be screwed from the second they walked into this thing and stuff. But again, this was probably the best way to get the belts off of these boys without making it look like they were, you know, legitimately beat in that ring. So it gives them a lot more credibility, shows that they've got toughness, they've got that heart and determination, and it really kind of pumps them up and really kind of gives them that that baby face hero feel. Like you want to cheer for these guys. They gotta get revenge on the the big bad villains that have gone and cheated them out of all this. And this is why booking like that can work. As long as it makes sense 
and doesn't fall into this goofy territory where it's just being done because somebody's a fan of watching uh, no DQ matches or guest referee matches. When it makes sense for it to be done and it's pulled off properly, when it's done like this, it can work. Yeah, I think you make a good point there, Munson. And uh, not to mention, at the same time as, as making the uh, Von Erichs look like believable uh, baby faces, and at the same time, it, it heals up uh, Lost Parks. It puts heat on Selena, and it puts heat on Lawler as well. Like you, you, they got a lot of mileage out of that match for uh, selling their selling their evil heels to the fans and. Uh, I think it's uh, I think it's a good match uh, in that way too. They built all kinds of heat. 